The ACE system in Pilatus aircraft has an optional feature which provides the ability to calculate takeoff and landing performance data. To calculate takeoff data, select the Departure Phase of Flight tab on the Flight Management window. When the aircraft is first powered up, the Manual V-Speeds checkbox on the Takeoff Configuration tab is selected. To calculate told data, you first need to deselect the checkbox. Pilot entered values are shown in white, and default values are shown in green. Any field with white boxes indicates it is required for told calculations. First, enter the runway and departure procedure, if one is assigned. Once a runway is selected, the runway heading, elevation, slope, displaced threshold, length, and width from the database are shown in green. You can manually adjust any of these with the exception of the width. The takeoff safety altitude height defaults to 1500 feet AGL, but can be changed to values between 400 feet and 25,000 feet. The takeoff safety altitude is where the third segment of the engine out climb profile begins for multi-engine aircraft. The told feature has an obstacle clearance function, which is a simplified obstacle clearance calculation that determines whether or not an obstacle can be cleared from the point of brake release until flap retraction is complete. For multi-engine aircraft, it takes into account the takeoff distance and the single engine climb gradients for the first and second segments. Told data is calculated assuming normal operations on paved runways. Other factors that may impact climb performance, such as special engine out departure procedures, are not accounted for. For a list of factors that may not be accounted for, refer to the pilot's guide and aircraft flight manual. To calculate obstacle clearance, enter the distance from the departure end of the runway and height of the object. The height is the elevation of the obstacle above mean sea level, not above the runway elevation. Both of these fields are removed if manual V-Speed is selected on the Takeoff Configuration tab. The Takeoff Configuration tab is used to enter environmental and aircraft configuration data used to calculate told data. The surface wind must be manually entered. The outside air temperature is sensed from the ADS Static Air Temperature Sensor. The temperature can be manually adjusted. When a temperature is entered in either Celsius or Fahrenheit, the other is automatically computed. The barrow set defaults to the barometric setting from the couple-sided PFD, but can be changed. The pressure altitude is automatically calculated and will change if the runway elevation or altimeter setting is changed. Select the appropriate ICE protection system configuration that you plan to use for takeoff. Then, select the flap configuration and the runway condition. The takeoff weight defaults to the gross weight that was computed on the altitude speed tab for the pre-flight phase of flight. The manual V-speed checkbox is selected as the power-up default. If V-speeds are manually entered, the IPS, flaps, and runway condition options are removed as well as the takeoff weight. These are all replaced with the manual V-Speed Active message. Once you have entered in all of the mandatory information for told calculations, click on Compute. The takeoff information is automatically displayed on the Takeoff Data tab. The Departure Airport, Runway, and SID are shown on the top line. The takeoff weight is the same as the weight shown on the Takeoff Config tab. A runway graphic shows a visual representation of the approximate takeoff distance. Next to the graphic is the available runway and actual computed takeoff distance. The wind readout shows the amount of headwind, tailwind, or crosswind for takeoff. The calculated takeoff safety altitude is shown below the V-speeds. The speeds, as calculated by the told function, cannot be modified unless you select the manual V-speed checkbox on the takeoff config tab. In that case, the takeoff V-speeds can be changed. When using manual V-speeds, the available runway, takeoff distance, runway graphic, takeoff weight, and TOSA are all removed. Once all the data is reviewed, click on Send to display the V-speeds on the PFD. 
To calculate landing data, select the Arrival Phase of Flight tab. First, enter the Runway, Approach, and Arrival if one is assigned. The runway information is automatically populated. The Landing Configuration tab is used to enter environmental and aircraft configuration data used to calculate toll data. The Manual V-Speed checkbox is selected as the power-up default. If V-Speeds are manually entered, the fields required for tolled calculations are replaced with the Manual V-Speed Active message. Deselect the checkbox to show the tolled options. The surface wind and outside air temperature must be manually entered. The barometric setting defaults to 2992 and should be adjusted to the altimeter setting at the destination. The pressure altitude is automatically calculated and will change if the runway elevation or altimeter setting is changed. Select the Stall Warning Protection System mode and Ice Protection System setting. This accounts for the aircraft's landing and bulked landing performance respectively. Then, select the Landing Flaps and Runway Condition for landing. The Operations type uses different calculation logic depending if Commercial or Manual is selected. If Commercial is selected, the landing field length is calculated using the AFM tables. If manual is selected, the landing field length is based on the AFM tables, multiplied by the landing factor value. The landing factor can be adjusted anywhere from 1 to 2.05. The landing weight defaults to the FMS predicted weight, but can be changed. Once you have entered in all of the mandatory information for told calculations, click on Compute and select Landing Data. The Landing Data tab is displayed with the landing performance calculations. The flight plan information is displayed on the top line. Under the calculated landing weight is the landing distance and landing distance available. The landing field length is the factored landing distance. The runway graphic is a visual representation of the landing field length and the landing distance available. The wind readout shows the amount of headwind, tailwind, or crosswind for landing. The V-speeds, as calculated by the told function, cannot be modified unless the manual V-speeds checkbox on the Landing Config tab is selected. The landing distance available, landing field length, landing distance, and runway graphic are all removed. Once all the data is reviewed, click on Send to display the V-speeds on the PFD. If a problem exists with either the takeoff or landing computations, the Takeoff Data tab or Landing Data tab display an associated message. The takeoff and landing weights are replaced with the maximum weight if it can be calculated for the limiting condition. The V-speed data is removed and the Send button is grayed out. Under certain conditions, the Told function also generates the message on the INAV display. Also, Told displays V-speeds in amber if the system detects a difference between the planned and actual aircraft or environmental settings. This variable is shown in amber on the takeoff or landing data tab. However, it is still possible to send the V-speeds to the PFD. The told option provides pilots with quick and accurate performance calculations, which help to provide a safe and efficient flight. For more detailed information on the told function on Pilatus aircraft, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.